Hey guys, it's Scott and AJ from Design Me Everything. Today we are going to machine a branding iron. If you haven't been following the past couple of videos we've put out, that's fine. You aren't going to be lost today. But we do have videos on all of the CAD and CAM we have done leading up to this point. Now I'm going to put the brass in the machine. So I'm putting this piece of aluminum in the back to act as a spacer so that the jaw clamps straight. This is a Lakeshore Carbide Variable 3 Flute, designed for brass and aluminum. So right now it's cutting the back of the branding iron. When it's done with the back, we'll flip it and do the front. These are what I've been calling aiming brackets, and this is going to show the user of the branding iron where the limits of their design is relative to the edges of their iron. My speeds and feeds may not be perfect here. I think I need to speed up my spindle on these ramps down. Now we're going to do the arrow. Whoa, that was dramatic. It's kind of terrifying, but that actually wasn't so bad. We'll have to clean that up with some hand finishing and files. And that's the first side. Oh, the program's not over. I'm done. Okay. Okay, so that was the first tool. Now it wants me to put in the thread mill so we can thread that board. Is the little window still on? Yes. Okay. Hi. It's gonna do three passes like this. Now we're done for side. So I'm going to test fit one of our handles to make sure it fits in these threads. This is my first time doing the 5 16 24 threads and I want to make sure my recipe is right on them. Yep, those should fit. So these handles are handmade for us by a guy named Seth Williams. They are super nice. He hand turns them, hand threads them, and they really are significantly nicer than the ones that you buy on like eBay or Amazon that are imported. They feel much better in the hand. So now I'm gonna take this off and flip it to do the engraving side. And before I put it back in, I'm just gonna make sure there's no burrs that were raised and hit with a file. So what do you think of my usability improvements on there? I added these brackets so that the user could see where the edge of the brand was uh, through the brand, because that's kind of a problem. The brand covers the mark that you're gonna make. I think I would make the width of these a bit smaller just to make it clearer where the actual edge is, but I think it'll help a lot to you know where you're branding. I, I could do that, but it would need another tool change. That's why I did it all with this eighth inch tool. Now, one thing I did notice on here is, do you, you see how it's off center? Oh, you mean like? The, the actual, the, the targeting marks are off center from the blank itself. Yeah. That is because this logo, to make it centered on the brand, like visually centered, is different than like the actual center center. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that, that's why this one is asymmetric. So does, but the brand doesn't go past the edge of this, no? Of the no. But you'll see it when we engrave the other side. It's like visually centered on the blank, 
But that means it's not actually centered. Yeah, not not if you just centered in Illustrator. So we just flipped it, we moved to the larger tool, it's going to face it off and then clear out all of the excess material and then do the engraving. This is going to take like three or four passes in the whole thing there by the way. Now we're moving to a Lakeshore Carbide 1 16th inch two flute, and this is gonna clean up all of the things that the 3 16th couldn't get to. Lots of adaptive. So much adaptive. going to very slowly go all the way around the perimeter. This is going to be excruciating. Oh, 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 no, no, look, it is doing it. Okay, we're good. Can I do dramatic spin? finish here on the top of the engraving is a lot better than the finish on the floor and that's because on the top we did a facing move with a finishing pass on the floor here it's just an adaptive floor pattern but on both of them you can see the tool it's just better on the top so now we need to dress all of the edges and make it look pretty and do a test Boop. So that actually went pretty smoothly. It leaves a really nice mark. It looks great. I think uh, James over JF Gunworks will be perfectly happy with it. If you are interested in buying something we make, like these new larger branding irons or the original smaller branding irons, you can buy them on our website, which is linked down below. Otherwise, if you want to support us without spending money, you can do all the YouTube things, hit like, subscribe so you can see future videos. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm the Fonz. <laughs> <laughs>